Hi everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to create our streamers view model or our streamer screen and start streaming to the Ovid Media Engine and connecting successfully to it. Now it's time to move forward and create our viewer screen. So I'll start with creating my viewer view model. Uh, it's going to surpass the static field leak and we'll annotate it as Hilt's view model. This class will extend the view model class of Android. It's going to be injectable and have the constructor. Let's implement this. So we will have the socket client of type uh, remote socket client. It's pretty much the same. And we will have the uh, WebRTC factory, pretty much the same as the Simmers view model. Now we will have a function named init which will give us the streamer ID that is pretty much important for us because we want to instantiate the socket client. So what it does, it will call another function named in its socket client with the stream ID attached to it. So let's create this function. It has to be a private function in its socket client with the stream ID. So what it does is it uses the socket clients and use init to it. And for the streamer path, we do not give the uh, streamer path. We will give the viewer or watcher path, which is get streamer path, this function with uh, ID attached to it. So use this function, give the stream ID to it and implement this one. And for the callback, we simply pass this. So we are connecting as the watcher on this viewer view model. So let's now create our RTC clients and our uh, other variables that we need here. I'll instantiate it up above. Now I want to write the function in its remote RTC clients. It's pretty much the same as the streamer screen i'll use the wrong catching and first we want to destroy it if it exists then make it null then make it null and then instantiate it like this so i'll just copy and paste to not waste more time just like that i'll implement these two so i know how to instantiate my remote artist clients now i need a way to get notified whenever my remote surface view is ready so i'll create a function on remote surface ready we will have the remote surface of type surface view renderer so right now i'll add this surface as the remote surface so later i can add the media stream to it whenever it's ready and use the web RTC factory to init surface view. Uh, there's a key difference here. We do not start the local stream whenever we are watching. We don't need it. We just want to instantiate or initialize our uh, surface view to make it ready. Whenever the remote media stream is being added to our peer connection, then we want to preview it. So, we simply want to initialize our surface view, not start local stream. So whenever the local surface is ready, we want to uh, instantiate or initialize our surface view render. So our surface is ready now, and we also started our uh, socket clients, which is going to connect to the viewer signaling server. So whenever it's opened inside this callback, we want to have a message model with the comments of request offer and set it to the client. So we know that, hey, the circuit is ready and it's opened. Now we want to request an offer. And inside this on new message received, we want to check if message.command is equal to offer. Then we know we have received an offer. Then we want to init our RTC client. And also same goes for the STP and the ICE candidate. So we initialize the peer connection first. Then we add the session description to the peer connection as the remote session. 
and also for each ice candidate that is being received we want to add it to our peer connection and then press the answer so what answer does is going to prepare our session description and set it as the local and also wait three seconds to gather all the ice candidate and package at the one place and send it after three seconds as the message that we want to send it to the server so this callback will get called inside our viewer view model you can see as soon as we press answer after three seconds this callback will get fired and we want to send the data that is being generated to the second client so now we are establishing the peer connection it's time to check here yeah we have overrided our on add stream which is the difference between our viewer view model and streamer view model we want to check if the remote stream is being added we want to add it to our remote surface view so let's use it inside our uh, watcher screen or viewer screen let's copy and paste my uh, screen inside here i'll initialize the uh, viewer screen like that it has the surface view render and then a bar on top of it and let's go inside my navigation class and add this back to the route so let's implement everything okay we are good to go now we can run our application and test if our uh, viewer screen is ready but first let's see what happens here we will receive the stream id using that box inside our application and then uh, we will have the title using that streamer id and a surface view render as the remote surface and we check whenever the surface is ready and this callback is being forward we want to use the view model and say that hey our surface is ready set it up first and then init use the init function to start the circuit client so everything should be working fine now let's run our applications on two devices and check if everything is working up okay now i have two device up i'll let this one have the permission as well okay now i'll press the stream on the first application and then let's join it using uh, this id as the viewer screen we should be able to see that uh, the stream is being connected in a second yep the stream is connected you can hear the audio also the camera is being moved okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial hope you like it uh, if you have any comments if you need any consultancy or any project that you want me to do it for you you can email me at info at klapp.com which i'll provide inside the description below or you can drop a comment inside the comment section below also do not forget to like and share my videos to grow the community also uh, subscribing to my youtube channel is welcome so till the next tutorial see you everyone stay tuned